A lot of pets misbehave when their owners are away, but how do you know when Fido's bad habits are more than just the result of too little training? If your pet is engaging in some destructive behaviors behind your back, they might be dealing with separation anxiety like this little guy right here seems to be going through right now. Our resident vet, Marty Becker, is here to show you how to stop your pets from suffering unnecessarily. And we have little Geppetto here with us today, courtesy of the Humane Society of New York as well. Dr. Becker, great to see Thank you. you. We don't know if he's making little happy puppy sounds. He's only yeah. seven weeks old or he might be having a little separation anxiety. Yeah, it's hard to tell. That's one of the things about separation anxiety. There's actually separation anxiety. There's separation distress. There's different kinds of clinical diagnoses just like there is in humans. You so know? this is very real in pets. Very real in pets. And that's why a lot of times you need to talk to your veterinarian or talk to even a veterinary behaviorist to know the difference. But, you know, separation anxiety is something, it, it, it kind of starts out with the extreme unwanted home makeover. You know uh, what I mean? Yes. The unwanted extreme home yes. makeover. And what happens with separation anxiety is it typically happens with an hour after you leave, and there's usually destruction involved, especially where you left the house. Whichever door you left, they'll attack the door, the door frame, the trimming around the door. They'll defecate, urinate, or both. There's increased vocalization, so neighbors will often complain about them barking all the time, or they'll be crying out all the time. Um, Are these clear signs that this is separation anxiety, anxiety rather than just... Just distress. Right, okay. Often they're... Um, they want to, they'll actually self-mutilate. They'll actually lick Aww. or chew a place until they go right down to the bone. Aww. And uh, they're kind of they're kind of Velcro pets. Those are the ones that just follow you everywhere. Yeah. Even you, everywhere you go, they get up. When you leave the room, they leave the room. Even in the bathroom, people can never have a moment alone. So. They're like toddlers. <laughs> like toddlers. Like toddlers. Yeah. Well, luckily, there is help out there. There are ways that uh, pet owners can help mm -hmm. their pets, right? And we're going to talk about a couple of those. The first are in pill form. Reconcile is one. I like, I like what you say about help because you don't want to just think, well, you know, gosh, what will happen is, well, i got to get rid of it. Aww. i got the, the dog or cat from hell, and i got to get rid of it. When it actually has something that is treatable. Reconcile is something we use on our own dog. We have a dog named Cora, Harry Hangrenade, Imelda Barco. She got her nickname because she likes to chew shoes up early <laughs> on. But Reconcile is like a form of Prozac. And this stuff works miracles with Prozac and some bond modification. So there's certain triggers. You get your keys, you put your coat on, and the pet's thinking, oh my God, there they go, there they go. So you start to desensitize them. You get your keys, you put them back in the drawer. You go outside, you start your car up, you come back in. They're thinking, oh gosh, there was nothing bad. And then you reward them. So right. with Reconcile and the bond modification, it worked incredibly And this is well. another pill form of uh, anti-anxiety? Yeah, this is some theanine. This is actually an herbal form that you give them by Verbach. But this stuff works not just for separation anxiety, but for thunderstorm phobias. Kind of those episodic uh, things, too, like going to the groomer going to the veterinarian sure. uh, works incredibly well it's a naturally sun theanine a natural product that's in a chewable form that's, and this is more of a uh, there's a mist involved this is in, includes pheromones well, believe it or not this is a pheromone treatment and guess what uh, little Geppetto here at about Aww. three to five days old his mother secreted this in her nipples and what it does for the puppies is just like saying we love you everything's going to be fine you're, you're going to be safe yes. and good you're going to be safe little guy you hear that <laughs> it's not absorbed it <laughs> doesn't go systemic so it can be used with a reconcile or these other products that a veterinarian might recommend but it comes in three kind of things. It comes in a diffuser bottle. So this is one you would just plug into a room and it covers like seven to eight hundred feet. So maybe the area of the pet stays in most of And you just leave it on all day? Leave it on all day. Okay. You can spritz a carrier like, you know, I talked about the hairy mm -hmm. hand grenade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Our dog. We had to get it used to going into a kennel. Well, it had been in a shelter for two years and did not want to go into a cage. We just spritzed the area with the dog appeasing pheromone, left the door open. Pretty soon the dog wanted to go in there. Also comes in a collar like a flea and tick Fantastic. collar. So. Now, speaking of collars, you have another special collar over here here that is not a muzzle, even though it may look like that. Yes. You see this all the time. It is not a muzzle. Mm -hmm. It is a head collar. And when uh, when this mother picks this dog up, I'm not going to pick it up this yeah. way, but when a mother packs it around, it grabs it by the scruff of the neck. Oh, sorry there, Geppetto. <laughs> it picks up, and that's the way it carries it. And when it wants to discipline the puppy, it often reaches down, and it puts pressure right here on the bridge of the nose like this. Right. So back of the neck, bridge of the nose. That's mm -hmm. the two pressure points for the gentle leader uh, head collar here. And the great thing about this is it's good for excessive barking. It's like having power steering for your pets when you walk. But anxious pets that have separation anxiety, it, it works in a natural way with these two pressure points to really calm, calm them, them down. down. So it works for a lot of behavioral problems. And then this fantastic looking vest over here, which is also quite fashionable. This is kind of stylish, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? The thunder shirt. But the good thing about the thunder shirt, you know with autistic people, a lot of times they use uh, pressure 
or Temple Graydon, who we know does a lot of work with uh, the animal industry, with squeeze shoots and stuff. A lot of times pressure produces natural endorphins. This works for thunderstorm phobias. It works for separation anxiety, trips to the veterinary, lots of different uses there for calming them. It just makes them yeah. feel uh, protected. Protected and safe and a natural endorphin release. Lots of uses for this product. All right. And so food. Food is another way. This sounds crazy. Yeah. Oh, BD stands for brain diet. So Hill's Prescription Diet BD is a brain diet. This has natural <laughs> antioxidants in it. So it actually reduces the free radical damages, uh, reduces and reverses the free radical damage to the brain, and also has other things that stop some mitochondrial damage. So it works on the cellular level and the brain level. Actually had a dog on this one time that had all sorts of cognitive disorder syndrome uh, and symptoms, and it worked perfectly. Do you use, so just the food alone, not in combination with any of these other if you, things? If you have a breed that's at risk, or starting to show the early signs of this, and that might be inappropriate house soiling, or all mm -hmm. of a sudden they act disoriented. They go into a room and they're like, what am I doing in this room? They're not as social. They're more aggressive. That's the early signs of cognitive disorder syndrome. Your veterinarian may recommend that at that stage, but you may use this in combination with a dog appeasing pheromone and a reconcile if you needed to. You'd have more than one little tool. And are there some breeds that are more at risk of developing separation anxiety than others? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, some of the high strung breeds, like the, the Jack Russell Terriers, you know, mm -hmm. we call them Jack Russell Terriers, you know, and we, we, we tease about certain breeds <laughs> like that, but uh, a lot of the smaller breeds are, are worse than the larger breeds, and a lot of shelter pets that have kind of grown up wondering if somebody was had left yes. them and if they're going to come back yes. and the good thing is they make you know I wrote a book called the healing power of pets yes. we know there's great benefits to that with some of these little crutches here you can help them live a happy healthy full life absolutely thank you so much Dr. Marty Becker and don't forget this little guy here Geppetto is available for adoption from the Humane Society of New York and of course you can always follow ABC News Now on Facebook and Twitter just search ABC News Now